Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the season three finale, A Daredevil Call A New Napkin. So start off with a Fisk is planning something and then we cut to Matt uh, kidnaps. Um, Kingpin has security, it's just easier for me to say. And we found out that he's planning a wedding. Meanwhile, the head of security seems like a bird for Matt and mentions Julie Barnes, who um, was taken away from Dex. Then we cut to where Foggy and Mahoney talk and he, and he tells them that this is going to be um, offed and we'll back them up. Then we have Nadine gets blasted on TV. Then we cut to where um, someone talks to Matt and Fo uh, Foggy and Karen talk to Matt. Then Foggy got a call and the FBI called him. And Dex said that he's going to be the next DA, which is weird. And uh, then we cut to where Miss Nadim is there. And basically they have a conversation, but she's writing something on a piece of paper. And gives him um, Nadim's phone that had a video on it. So Matt calls Dex and lays into him. <laughs> and tells him about Julie and a location. Then Foggy plays the video to Karen as a full-on confession, and it's admissible in court, which means they can use it in court, no problem. And then we can cut to where Dex goes to the location and found a lot of people, including Julie. Then Matt calls him, and then we cut to where the wedding's happening. Then Karen gets the video to the newspaper and they agree they're just going to blast this all over the place and not just through their uh, newspaper site. So De Dex is at the, meeting, at the wedding with Julie and um, he asked the security to get in there and basically the wedding happened and they're officially married and now the reception is happening and we have the first dance. Then the video went public and everyone is staring at them and it's not pretty. Then Daredevil is at the wedding and then Matt shows up too and then Vanessa said to be smart and run. Then we have Matt is in the penthouse and as far as his Fisk, you have a really crazy fight scene which was super cool. Then it's Fisk versus the Dex's Daredevil. Then Matt, then Matt versus Dex. Then uh, Fisk broke Dex's back in an epic fight scene. He literally picked him up horizontally and shut him in the corner of a pillar. Then we have um, Fisk versus Matt again and reveals himself to Fisk and threatens him through Vanessa. And they shake on it, says like, look, just go to prison and shut up. And I'm not going to do anything to Vanessa, okay? Because now she can be put in jail too. So, uh, Matt leaves. And then we cut to where Dex can't feel his legs. Then we cut to where Fisk is being taken away. And so Matt visits his mother. And we find out that Daredevil has been cleared. And then we cut to where Matt forgives his mother from all those years ago. Then we cut to the pastor's funeral, and then Matt gets a really heartfelt speech, which I really enjoyed. And um, then we cut to Foggy drops out the race in front of the press in order for Mahoney because he says, I'm voting for you. And then we cut to Foggy talks to um, his brother, and basically that cleared him and so of his stupid debt he did to Redline Bank. So everything's fine with him. Then Matt, Karen, and Foggy talk, and Matt's going to move back into his apartment, and basically they talk about starting a new firm, and they all agree they're going to start a firm together, which is pretty neat. They're going back to basics. Then we have people operating on decks on his spine, and then we see his eyes going to like a bullseye. And that's the end of the episode, and the season, and the series, which I'm kind of pissed off about, but... It is what it is. Um, I still really, really enjoyed um, this episode. I give it an A+. Plus. The fight scenes were outstanding. Just the whole plot was really good. It was overall just an excellent episode and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm just very sad to see the show end, but I have a feeling it's going to come back on Hulu. I know it's not going to be on Disney+. Plus. 
I'll be very shocked. <laughs> but I think it'll be on Hulu though. Um, but from what I've heard on the internet, you have to wait three years until after it's canceled for them to move on it unless um, they do broker a deal with the Netflix about it or something. I don't know. And so I don't know what's going to happen, but anyway, we'll have to see what is going to happen. So anyway, that's going to it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the season and the series overall and what I should review next besides my other thousand episodes of different shows I ain't done yet. Oh my god, I got so many. But anyway, if you have suggestions, just let me know down below. I'll probably get it in like 2035, but we'll get to it somewhere. Anyway, I want you all have a super awesome day, and I'll see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe because I also have the channel a lot. Bye, everybody.